Queen Elizabeth II might be the most private public figure in the world. She's been on the throne for 65 years and has become one of the most recognizable faces on the planet. Here are top 10 Queen Elizabeth secrets you're not supposed to know about Elizabeth II, the longest reigning monarch in the world. Number 1. She never went to school. But that doesn't mean she's not educated. Elizabeth, childhood nickname, Lilibet, was taught by private tutors at home. Same goes for her younger sister, Princess Margaret. Number 2. She's actually related to the man she married. Technically, Elizabeth and her husband Philip are third cousins. Elizabeth is related to Queen Victoria on her father's side, and Philip is related to Queen Victoria on his mother's side. Philip was born into the royal families of Greece and Denmark, but renounced his original titles when he married Elizabeth. They've now been together for 69 years. Number 3. She celebrates her birthday twice a year. The Queen's real birthday is April 21st, but the country doesn't officially celebrate and until June 11. Monarchs with birthdays in colder months typically schedule an additional, official birthday when the weather is likely to be better for a parade. Elizabeth has one every June. Number 4. She's owned more than 30 corgis. Elizabeth's father brought home the royal family's first corgi in 1933, and on her 18th birthday, Elizabeth was gifted her very own corgi named Susan. Many of her subsequent corgis descended directly from Susan. The Queen also introduced an entirely new dog breed known as a dorgy, a cross between a corgi and a Dutch shund. Number 5. She reportedly uses her purse to send secret signals to her staff. A recent report in the Telegraph suggests that the Queen uses her trusty handbag to subtly exit uncomfortable or boring meetings. If the Queen is at dinner and places her handbag on the table, her staff knows that she wants the event to end in the next five minutes. And if she puts her bag on the floor, it signals that she would like to be rescued from her current conversation. Number 6. She's made at least 260 official overseas trips since taking the throne. The Queen visits with the famous terracotta warriors in Xi'an, China in 1986. Associated Press these days she's making fewer international trips, but the Queen hasn't slowed down much. The Telegraph reported that the Queen carried out 341 royal engagements in 2015. More than Prince Harry, Prince William, and Kate combined. By the way, here's what the royal family actually does every day. Number 7. She once told a group of tourists who didn't recognize her. Maybe she's stony-faced in most photos, but the Queen really does have a fun side. One of the Queen's former security guards recalled a time when a group of tourists at Balmoral Estate didn't recognize the monarch, who was wearing a headscarf at the time. The group asked Elizabeth if they had ever met the Queen. No, Elizabeth allegedly responded. Then she pointed to a nearby policeman and said, but he has. Number 8. She sent a message to the moon. Ahead of the Apollo 11 moon landing in 1969, dozens of world leaders were invited to write messages of goodwill that were transferred onto a small silicon disk. That disk is still sitting on the surface of the moon, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin placed it just below the American flag they planted at the landing site. On behalf of the British people I salute the skill and courage which have brought man to the moon, the Queen wrote in her moon message. May this endeavor increase the knowledge and well-being of mankind. Number 9. She reportedly drinks a glass of champagne every night before bed. Maybe that's the secret to thriving at 90. Number 10. She's been wearing the same nail polish since 1989, and it's surprisingly cheap. Her neutral nail color won't clash with her vibrant outfits. Apparently the Queen has rather taken the Essie's classic pale pink Polish ballet slipper, which retails for just $9. Essie says that, in 1989, Queen Elizabeth's hairdresser wrote a letter to nail polish. Mogalesi Weingarten requesting a bottle of the classic shade. 
Her Majesty refused to wear any other color, 